Hey there, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can update your Facebook fan page or your Facebook profile wall from your blog or website and do this automatically. So the idea here is to have your blog automatically updating your Facebook whenever you post a new article. Now if you're using WordPress, this is quite simple. You could just install a plugin to do this and you're on your way. But what if you're not using WordPress? Well, if your website or blog has an RSS feed, then here's one way to do it. We're going to use a free service called Twitter Feed. This service can take an RSS feed and use it to automatically post to other websites like Twitter, Facebook, and a few others. This is just one of several different ways you can accomplish this. Keep in mind that you're relying on a free service, Twitter feed, and they can choose not to offer the service in the future. But I've been using this now for almost a year, and it has proven to be one of the more stable free services of its kind. So let's jump right into how it works. First, here's one of my blogs that I periodically post technology news on. Now when I post a new article to this blog, I want that new article to show up here on my Facebook fan page that I've created for tech news. As you can see here on my fan page, I already have it set up to display articles from different blogs. Notice how the headlines and a snippet of the article show up in this list. And each entry has a link back to the source. So if I click on this article, we are taken to the website the article originally came from. Let's go back. As you can see here, this article was added 12 hours ago via Twitter feed. And so you can see I have a number of articles that have been automatically posted. This is a great way to get more exposure to your blogs. Okay, let's head back over to Twitter feed and set up a new feed. First, I need to sign in. If you don't have a Twitter feed account, go ahead and sign up for one. As I said before, it's free. After logging in, you will be at the dashboard. Here you can see in my account, I already have a couple feeds set up. Let's make a new one. To set up a new feed, click the Create New Feed button. Now we need to give our feed a name or a label. This is just for your own viewing in the dashboard. It's not public. So I'm going to call this feed Techie Insider Blog. Next we need to enter the URL of the feed. So what I can do here is pop over to my blog and click the feed icon in my browser and I'll just copy the URL right out of the address bar. If you're using Firefox, for some sites the feed icon will be displayed in the URL bar like it was for me. If you don't see that, you may have to hunt around your site to find the RSS icon or link. Click it and you should get your feed's URL to show up in the address bar and copy it. Okay, paste your URL feed in the box. It's probably a good idea at this point to click the test RSS feed button to make sure a Twitter feed can read your RSS feed. Feed parsed okay. Under advanced setting, you can leave all these defaults. By default, Twitter feed is going to check your feed once an hour to see if you have new articles or activity. There are other settings here, but I think for most people, the defaults are fine. You can click the advanced setting buttons once more to get the settings out of your way. Now click continue to step two. Here's where we're going to set up the websites we want Twitter feed to update. For this video, I'm just going to show you how to do Facebook. 
but of course feel free to set up any of the others and in fact doing so can only increase your blog's exposure we have twitter statusnet ping fm hello text and facebook now i don't believe ping fm or hello text work anymore which is a shame because with those two services, you could automatically update over 50 different websites. So for me personally, I have had to search for other ways to automatically post to more websites. To set up Facebook, click Facebook here. Now click the Connect with Facebook button. You will get a pop-up asking you to log into Facebook if you're not already logged in. Now my pop-up, as you notice, quickly disappeared. I guess that's because I've already confirmed that Twitter feed is allowed to connect to my Facebook. I must have done that when I set up the other two feeds. But when you see the pop-up on your end, just click that it's OK. And you'll get the same screen that I have in front of me right here. Now you'll notice you have this option here for Facebook pages. Here's where you want to select where your blog updates are going to be shown. They can either be shown on your personal wall, that would be this first selection right here, or you can choose your Facebook fan page. If you have more than one, this list will contain or should contain all of them. In my case, I only have one fan page, so I'm going to select it. Again, the request for permission pop-up came up briefly and then disappeared, probably because I've already run through this on my other feeds. In your case, you may have to click something that says you allow Twitter feed to connect with your Facebook account. Okay, now we're ready to collect the update or create service button down here at the bottom. Don't worry about UTM tags at this point. These are for tracking purposes and beyond the scope of this video. So create service. So I've got Facebook here and I've got active checked. Now if I want to, I can go through these other ones. I could set up Twitter, StatusNet. But for this video, I only wanted to do Facebook, so I'm going to click All Done. And just like the button said, you're now all done. So let's go back to the dashboard. So down here is my new feed. I just set it up seconds ago, so there are no status updates here. But up above, under this feed, it's showing the last two articles that were posted. So at this point, things look good, and my Facebook page should be automatically updated. So that's it for this video. I just want to remind you that Twitter feed is a free service which may not be around forever. In my experience, it has proven to be fairly stable, but with these things you never know. They could decide to start charging money for their service in the future, or it may just stop working all of a sudden, or it may work fine for years to come. Just keep it in the back of your mind that if Twitter feed isn't available in the future, that there are other ways to accomplish what I just showed you using other services and other tools. So thanks very much for watching this video. And for more related tips and information, please feel free to browse my new question and answer forum at techiediy.net. And if you like what you see, you are welcome to join for free. Thanks again.